Let's talk about intermittent fasting for ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. There's some really uh, fascinating research on this that shows that both intermittent fasting and prolonged fasting, you know, as in 72 hours, can greatly affect the frontal lobe of your brain. And it can create significant improvements in cognition. And I'm talking about concentration, focus, memory, clarity, creativity. Those are your cognitive functions. But the study relates to improving the front part of your brain, which is involved with paying attention, making decisions, helping you organize, and plan. Because they found if they actually disconnect that part of the brain and destroy it, you will not be able to pay attention, you won't be able to decide anything, you can't organize, and you definitely won't be planning. Now, it's interesting to me that when you do research on ADHD, um, the experts will say that it's the chemical imbalance, but it's never been proven, or it's genetics, or the brain is somehow rewired for these symptoms. And um, they don't know why, they don't know how, but we still have to do research to see if that's true or not. In the meantime, we have some medications for you. Well, the problem with the medications is they have side effects, okay? And the side effects sometimes create the exact same symptoms they're supposed to get rid of. Now, if you're new to my channel and you're not familiar with what fasting can do, basically what happens is we stop feeding the brain glucose. So as a survival mechanism, the body switches over to making a preferred source of fuel. It's called ketones. And your neurons love ketones more than glucose. In fact, if the neurons had a choice between glucose and ketones, they would always use the ketones. Now, there are certain parts of your brain that need glucose, but your body can make that glucose out of fat, out of protein, out of non-carbohydrate sources. So you don't need to be consuming glucose to feed the brain glucose. But when you fast, you give it ketones. And ketones do many wonderful things for the brain, but one of the big things it will do is improve your cognitive functions. And so if you haven't tried it before, I highly recommend you give it a try, especially if you have any problems in focusing, concentrating, having problems with clarity. I would also add vitamin B1 in the form of nutritional yeast. I would add some zinc, and I would add omega-3 fatty acids. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis, how about that?